Hello and welcome to South of Hell. I adjusted like the audio to make it a little bit lower, but I don't know how much that's going to work. Uh, anyway, you start a new job on Halloween night at a remote gas station 20 miles away from the nearest town. You go into work for a slow and boring eight-hour shift, except this won't be an average night. Looks like a nice gas station. It's like a diner. This isn't really like a gas station at all. Oh, I'm... I'm getting something to eat. That figures. Man's gotta eat. They like my phone ringing? Hey, Kate. How are you doing tonight? No, I'm a lady. Really? You're at his house again? You know I told you he was a loser. Seriously, I would totally avoid him. He's nothing but drama. No, I get it. He did help you a lot that night. <laughs> yes, of course. I remember that stupid party. Although I wish I didn't. No, Kate. Don't get started again. You know damn well it was just some stupid fake challenge to scare people. Nothing is gonna come of it. It's just a waste of time even thinking about it. Where's that girl? Kate, seriously, drop it. Hundreds, maybe even thousands, or maybe even hundreds of thousands of people have done that challenge. And there have been no reported possessions or any kind of conflict from it. Well, thank you. But on another note, I do start my first shift in an hour or two, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay, yeah, sounds good. Goodbye, Kate. Okay. Oh, and now we're out. Oh, what the crap? We just, like, disappeared from the diner and now we're at the gas station. Seems like a pretty nice place. I guess I should get to work now. Indeed. Oh, Route 66. Uh, that is a pretty popular route in America for some reason. I don't know why. But find the key. What? Watch it be in the bathroom. Oh, it's not a bathroom. I don't actually know where the key would be in um, a situation like this. I, f I would assume it would be in my pocket. Um, cool. Um, where Where could I possibly look? I mean... Uh, on the key. I know to find the key, but I don't know where to look for the key. There's no indication that the key would be anywhere that would make... Mark did mention something about leaving the key inside the shed. Oh, well, pff. where were you like three minutes ago? Oh, oh, there it is. I missed it. All right. Oh, let's take a look in our inventory. We got some, um... Single malt Japanese whiskey. Um, vodka. Some soda pop. A lot of drinky drinks. Oh, we got some bread. Sandwich bread. Brown sugar. Cane sugar. Brown, uh, powdered sugar. Ooh, Captain Quintas. Tuna quality premium. All right, so we know that, like, if something were to happen, we'd be able to brush our teeth. Um, and probably survive for a while because we had all these apples and bananas. Dang, already? Oh, see me that girl again. 
Hey, Ashley, this is Mark, your manager. I want to say thanks for coming in late. You're really all I got for the night shift right now, so I'm very grateful for you. Anyways, to remind you again, don't let people steal. Try not to take anything for yourself unless it's a little thing here and there, and just ignore weird people and conflict. I am still working on getting security cameras out there. Thank you again. I'll see you in the morning. I guess I'll start the night by restocking. If restocking the shelves are full. Restock the cleaning supplies. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I've got some jeans and like really long legs and shiny hair. Ah, you can tell she works out. Looks like I got my first customer of the night. I also like that, um, despite the fact that I, I believe that we are in. Mind. I guess they left. In America. Seems they left a note on top of the barrel, though. Uh, that we, we, our person who we're playing and is working, um, could be from another country. Based on an accent. You open the gates. Welcome south of hell. Interesting. I, I guess that was supposed to be scary. God damn it. Now the power goes off? Just when I thought this shitty night couldn't get any worse. Yeah, no, no mention of the fact that you got um, like, like some kind of weird thing trying to like mess with your face. Uh, find the fuses to turn them back on. Uh, okay. Well, I would assume the fuses are inside because that's where I would put the fuses. I just realized, like, this place doesn't have a bathroom. I guess that's what they mean south of hell, because what happens if I have to take a deuce? Like, drop a deuce? I don't know, like, what's the proper thing? Do people say, like, take a, take a deuce? Drop a deuce? Give a deuce? Use the bathroom, the latrine, the sh restroom? It doesn't matter, you know, we're, we're just gonna... What? I think this is a fuse. Why is a fuse out here? Uh, give me the fuse. <laughs> you have to like crouch to pick it up because she can't bend over and pick it up. That's okay though. I, I can't either. Like I am not a flexible. Uh, person by any means whatsoever. All right, we got two fuses, uh, potentially a third fuse right here. Sweet. I think that's all the fuses. And a fuse. I should probably call Mark now. I don't want to call Mark. He's going to be like, arrow. Just FYI, there are maybe some creepy people. There's like apparently people living out in the the outside there just being all creepy. With their whispers. It looks like there's a person out in that window. Oh, never mind. I just seeing stuff again. They're gone. Hello? Hey Mark, it's Ashley. Oh hey Ashley. How's the first shift going? Not fucking good, Mark. I was restocking the cleaning supplies when I heard the bell ring, so I went outside, but there was nobody out there. But get this, they left some weird note about opening gates to hell. I picked up the note, then boom, the power went out. It looked like someone scattered the fuses around. So uh -huh. I found them lying around. There's like around, a guy that just like ran by the window. I'm calling you. Yeah, that it definitely sounds weird. Um, but listen, I know this might not be what you want to hear, but just yeah, I try to keep working. You know, it doesn't sound like you've been hurt or threatened yet. Uh, so just really try to forget it. I'm going to go to bed now. It's like 2 in the morning, actually. Good night. That asshole. It really sounded like he didn't care one bit. You're going to fucking die here, Ashley. Oh.
Okay. Oh, fuck this. I think I need to step outside and get fresh air. <laughs> I, I like how, like, nonchalant she is about everything. Oh. Well, I was, like, trying to look sideways before I could look over and see, like, why is this stuff so weird? Find the key, Ashley. Where would the she... Where would the key be? It's kind of weird that there's, like, a... A place in here. A place. A place. In, uh, it is kind of strange that there isn't a shed here. Wasn't here before. Uh, alright, no key that I can see, so maybe it's inside. This place is certainly kind of weird, like, uh, but the fact that the character doesn't seem to be concerned about any of this stuff, um, or frightened by any of it, loud, uh, makes it far less scary, so like, all of these, um, the jump scares that I've experienced have been, I guess, less scary than they could have been? I don't know. It's still pretty cool, though. Mr. Boogie. Mr. Boogie. And Dorothy. And me. The ritual at the party was not a game. I don't even know what they're talking about. Was I at a party? Okay. Oh, I bet it's going to be something cool when we open the door. Ow. No. Um, let's see. Nothing else in here. No kind of creepy stuff. Just like the fact that there is a shed out here that's kind of weird. Guess we'll go back to work. Do our job. Ugh. Oh, now it's this gone. Be a real customer this time. Oh, it's a customer, all right. Oh, I teleported over there. Ashley gives. She cares not for the weird stuff. What the crap? Oh, now it's a church. Man, what kind of weird stuff have I gotten myself into? Ashley, what kind of drugs are you on? You have two choices, Ashley. One is forgiveness, one is death. Both come with consequences from Patrick. Oh, okay, this is an example text for paper to demonstrate the examination system. <laughs> you can display the text on the paper using a texture or rewrite the text as paper examination. <laughs> I don't know. Which one of these is one of, one of those is whatever. We have forgiveness and we have death. I don't know which one is, is like whatever. You know, I, I'm just going to say this is, you know, forgiveness, I guess. We're guessing. What if, well, we can't choose both. All right. Um, both come with consequences. I mean, okay. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Guy. Did I die? What a weird experience. Uh, turned into a bat. Oh. I guess I did not choose forgiveness and I chose death. disappointing okay that's a I believe like a potential police officer oh he's talking about missing person Police department. Oh, Ashley is missing. I'm assuming we're going to get like one more jump scare. Or maybe not. Just kind of assumed it was going to happen the way things are going. I guess like I chose 
death or maybe I chose forgiveness. I don't know. Is it over? I'm assuming it's over because it's just a black screen and nothing happens. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Um, South of hell, uh, links in the description. It's, um, it's certainly a thing that exists. It's okay. Like it's, the jump scares are forced and not really effective, but uh, it has some parts that I thought were pretty cool.